Hey you guys, today we're going to be looking at Odin's abilities that Clive uses in Final Fantasy XVI. Welcome to my breakdown series, Final Fantasy XVI's Iconic Style System. This icon is probably the one we have the least amount of information on. We really only have a couple snippets of these abilities, and when we see them, it actually cuts away pretty fast. I'll try to extrapolate as much as I can, but just be aware that we don't have much to work on with this icon. Your icon ability with Odin is Arm of Darkness, which is similar to the Bahamut Wings of Light ability we looked at last week, which shifts you into a form rather than triggering a simple action or attack. This gives Clive Odin's sword and completely changes his combo. Seeing the way that Clive summons this sword, I imagine it probably damages close enemies or it could even trigger a parry or counter attack, much like the cold snap ability associated with Shiva. You are also able to trigger your icon abilities while in this form, which we can see here where Heaven's Cloud is triggered mid-combo giving us an ability chain score. We also get a score called Collateral Cloud, giving us points for hitting multiple enemies with a strike. Both your normal strikes and your abilities fill up your gauge, with your normal combo increasing in a small amount, and your abilities filling up in bigger chunks. The strikes while in this Armor of Darkness form are so smooth and graceful, with these long sweeping strikes that have pretty decent range. The strikes having these red slash effects to contrast with the blue blade also looks incredible. The blade also changes color to a red hue during Heaven's Cloud as Clive rushes towards enemies and slashes at them with a powerful strike. We can see the ability is constantly being mashed during this rush attack, so I imagine you can control how long or short this attack is. It's a little hard to see due to the quality, but you can see these after images during some of the strikes. Since Clive follows up with another ability, we'll look at Gungnir next, and then we'll get back to Arm of Darkness. Gungnir has Clive changing his weapon into a double-sided spear, continuously spinning it around himself to attack the enemy. It seems like this attack will also continue as long as you match the ability, as Clive spins his right and left a number of times before slicing the enemies up into the air. We then finally get a look at the Zantetsukin ability, which is part of the Armor of Darkness form. You can trigger this whenever you want by holding square. Depending on how much of your Zantetsukin gauge you have filled up, you will get a different kind of attack. We haven't seen a level 1 Zantetsukin, I don't believe, but level 2 has Clive cutting downwards to the enemy, causing a flurry of strikes to slice around them. I love the slash and then pause before you start seeing the other multiple slices start appearing. It even cuts into the ground during the attack. Level 3 starts with a similar strike to level 2, with a strike followed by phantom slashes, but Clive then swings back the other way that triggers even more slashes. It cuts away before we see the end of this level 3 Zentetsukan. Level 4 is also skipped, and level 5 is incredible. It is one of the most badass attacks I've seen so far. The sword glows as Clive holds it behind himself and crouches. He takes a step forward and strikes as a plethora of slices rain down over the screen. This symbol appears as Clive turns around and strikes one more time. The symbol then appears on the enemies, and a slash cuts apart each symbol. This looks incredible. I've seen some people point out that you can tie this ability with other attacks, but I think that's just the attacks converging and like ending as this attack also ends. The last ability we have seen is Rift Slip, which seems to be an ability that slows down enemies around you. It doesn't seem to damage the enemies, nor does it trigger any sort of score indicator, so it may be a panic button to slow down enemies when you're surrounded, so you can either set up a combo or get to safety. And that's all I've seen so far for Odin's attacks and abilities. I do want to make a quick note though before I get into my thoughts about this icon as a whole. Gungnir is the name of Odin's spear, which I'm sure most people know, but I love how you get a special spear that Clive summons just for this attack. It's just such a nice detail. The other attack name that I could find a reference for is Heaven's Cloud, which is a weapon you can collect in Final Fantasy VII. There's also a connection I found to Susano, which is another deity seen in the Final Fantasy franchise, since Susano finds a sword called the Sword of the Gathering Clouds of Heaven. I'm getting a little out of my depth though and don't want to say anything else before I make a fool of myself, uh, but I do know like Susano has showed up in the Final Fantasy franchise, so I imagine there's some connection there. Uh, if anyone has any insight into that, I'd love to read about it down below in the comments. Probably the coolest detail I found was the symbol that appears during Zantetsukin is actually a reference to the Final Fantasy III concept art of Odin. Um, you can see on his shield here that the symbol is almost exactly the same. I love finding small details like this, and really it doesn't even impact the gameplay, but for people that have played Final Fantasy III or know this concept art, it's really satisfying and validating to see that. Anyways, in terms of fighting style, at first I was thinking this would be good for single target enemies, but honestly, the reach that these attacks have shown, and the fact that this Zentetsukin ability deals so many hits to multiple enemies, makes this viable for both single target and mob situations. To be honest, I'd rather use this for mob situations than even single target. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this deep dive on the iconic battle system of Final Fantasy XVI. If you want to see more, leave a like or drop a comment, that really helps me out with the algorithm. 
If you enjoy this, I've done a ton of content over on Kingdom Hearts, so click the cards on screen to see that. Um, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. If you enjoy this and you want to throw me some support, you can throw me a dollar over on YouTube. Um, become a member, get some nice emotes and a badge beside your name. It really helps me out. Also, I've started a Final Fantasy XIV channel if you want to check that out. I decided I wanted to keep all my Final Fantasy XIV hyperfixations just to one channel. Anyway, see you in the next video.